Welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we have a plethora of new mods that have recently released, and let me tell you there are a few good ones. Whether you're looking to have some fun or add some more mods to your lore friendly playthrough, there's a little bit of everything for everyone in this video. So let's get started. The first one as you can guess is Michael Myers. This mod lets you swap to Michael Myers using Rampage Trainer. So you'll have his iconic mask as well as his jumpsuit and boots and it's relatively easy to swap to him. You just need to go into Rampage Trainer, go into the player menu, go into wardrobe, and then into model changer. You're gonna go all the way to the bottom to the custom input, and then all you have to type in is Myers. Once you do that, your character will change to Michael Myers, and you'll be able to roleplay to your heart's content. If Michael Myers isn't your thing though, then how about Jason Voorhees? So now you can roleplay and recreate the events of Friday the 13th. This one is unique as well, because it comes with different outfit variations. So you can go with a heavy coat version, a medium jacket version, some casual attire, or maybe something more formal. Whatever you pick though, you're sure to be the talk of the town. If anything, you could use these two mods for your next Halloween themed playthrough. This next mod isn't Halloween themed, or even related to Red Dead Redemption 2 at all, but I'd say it kind of fits. And if you know what game this armor is actually from, brownie points for you. These mods are called the NCR Veteran Ranger Helmet and the NCR Ride Gear. This mod will allow you to patrol the lands as an NCR Ranger, all while sporting some pretty cool armor. Both of these mods replace clothing items already found in the game, so the NCR helmet replaces the Viking helmet, and then the ride gear actually replaces the rugged Wrangler vest. The mod author has said that they are going to do the NCR cloak, or the coat, so once that comes out you'll have the whole shebang. But for now any duster type coat does fit this build pretty nicely. This is definitely one of my more favorite replacer mods. It looks like a lot of attention to detail went into this and it just looks really nice. This mod for Red Dead Redemption 2 adds thousands of accessories and weapons into the game. This is a recent release on Nexus mods as well and is called the Trifecta Redux. Now this is a merge of a few popular mods. So this combines 1899 firearms, Wyand's DLC, and Eastern's Epic Extras. So this essentially makes it easy to combine these three powerhouses of mods, so you can use them all at the same time in the game. If you're familiar with the original Wyand's DLC and Triple E merge, there would usually be a Wyand's DLC option, as well as an Eastern options for clothing and accessories. This mod consolidates this into one category, the Trapper's Traveling Tailor Ship, and in here is where you're gonna find all the Wyand's DLC and Eastern Epic stuff. Now you won't get all of the items you're accustomed to with this merge of the mods, but from the description on the mod page, items were removed that didn't really fit properly with both Arthur and John. So whatever outfit or accessory you choose, you should see little to no clipping, whether you like playing as Arthur or John. And it removes some of the bloat from the catalog from previous entries. You still get over 1800 items with the YM's DLC, and then of course over 400 different accessories with the Eastern Epics extras. So you're still getting the bang for your buck. This even merges Gon Pachiero's fancy atelier as well, so you can get those nice custom fancy suits for Arthur or John. You're also able to have modular weapon equipment, so you can remove your holsters, whether it's your primary holster or your offhand holster. And I know a lot of people don't like to play with the satchel, you can remove that as well. Now the next part of the merge 1899 firearms is something I was unfamiliar with. But this mod offers some extensive firearm changes as well as new realistic ammo types. So now when you browse the gunsmith in the ammunition category, you have a lot of different ammo options available to you. These ammos do come in small, medium, and large variants, which you can use to hunt animals. So for example, if you buy a large round, that would be more oriented to hunting a bear. And then vice versa, using a small round, you'd be hunting a rabbit. So as you can see, this adds a lot of different variants for your weapons when it comes to the ammo available, but you also get some new weapons as well. So you have a few new revolvers with names for them, all with their own unique stats to bring even more variety into your gunslinging. This merge even includes three new weapons, which consists of Arthur Schofield revolver, an 1897 slam fire, and a Remington model 1858 revolver. So if the already abundant weapon choices weren't enough for you, you have even more to choose from. There's also been some quality of life to the wardrobe menu, so equipping your favorite outfits or piecing together your own unique outfit will be a bit more streamlined. The merge even comes with restored John Martian's beta features, so you have a more classic look for John for his head and body, so you know this mod is packed with content. Let me know if you'll be trying out this mod for yourself. The Trifecta Redux does definitely come packed with some goodies, and I can see a lot of people trying this out. Now a mod I know you'll love is called Proning, and this mod allows you to go prone. 
So now you're able to crawl on the ground to get the sneak on your enemy. So you can crawl forwards, you can go backwards of course with its own unique animation, and then you can even go left or right. You can even sprint scrawl which uses up your stamina. The only downside to this mod is you can't aim and prone at the same time. But who knows, it could be added in a future update. Now another mod you might want to consider to give yourself a little variety is called Florida Vegetation for Swamps. And this is a simple mod that adds a few new plant types to the swamps. So you'll see new plant varieties in the Lemoyne area, which will include longleaf pines, sawgrass palmetto, and palm trees as well. Now I think the mod author plans to do a big overhaul for this area, which will be called Big Florida. And they say that's going to essentially take over the entire map. So that could be interesting. We'll have to check that out once it comes out. But now let's get into a few mods that are essentially must-haves. This next one is called Realistic Explosions. And this mod reworks damage, smoke, visual effects, and other dynamite projectile data to make them more realistic and therefore more, well, believable. So for instance, dynamites. The blast radius has been calibrated, so there's a more focused impact. And the damage for dynamites have been increased by 40%. Molotovs have been enhanced to cover more of the surface, so you get three times the coverage with each of your throws. Not to mention the new smoke effects to go with it. Exploding bullet ammo now has micro explosive charges, which unleashes a kinetic energy upon impact and increases the damage output. Same with the dynamite on the arrows, this will give you more explosive power as well as some cool new visuals. So if you're looking for a mod to increase your explosive capabilities, this one is a must have. You can't go wrong with new explosives. Our next mod is another take on ragdoll physics. This mod is called Raro or Realistic Euphoria Ragdoll Overhaul. And this mod aims to make ragdoll physics more realistic. So NPCs will stumble less and fall more directly. Kind of like how it would be in real life. NPCs will writhe in pain if you shoot them too many times without dying. The damage from bullets have been aimed to make more realistic and falling affects both NPCs and yourself when you get damaged. This mod is even compatible with Ped Damage Overhaul and YM's Bloodlust, so you can make it even more realistic. There are a lot of good Euphoria Ragdoll mods out there, so even if you don't specifically like this one, there are a bunch more for you to test out so you can find what you like. Now this mod is not necessarily new, but this mod boasts a bunch of new features that could overhaul your combat experience. This mod is called Combat Experience, and this adds a few new features that you can toggle on and off in the any file to give combat a sort of new spin. So now while aiming in combat, you can zoom in to get a more over the shoulder view. The camera will have a slight shake whenever you're shot to really up the ante. And now if you're using the machete or the cleaver, you have the chance to slice off different body parts. So parts such as the head, the legs, or the arms can be sliced off mid combat. Definitely a cool thing to spice up your combat experience in RDR2. This mod is called Gun Tricks, and this lets you perform various gun tricks with Arthur or John. So you can flip up your weapons up into the sky, you can bring them up high and twirl them like helicopters, you can do a sort of figure eight type pattern where you're spinning your guns with the flick of the wrist. And then you can even do a trick where you flip the gun right behind your back and you catch it while you keep spinning. You'll also have some pretty cool unique holstering animations once you're done. So you can get some pretty cool gunplay cinematics once you master your spins. The mod is pretty simple to use as well. So once you have it installed, all you need to do is equip your weapons and then quickly double tap the holster button. This will initiate your default spin, but by pressing various buttons on your controller, you can seamlessly transition between spins until you find the one that you want. You can spin and walk at the same time as well, as well as change up the animations as you walk to, and you don't have to use two weapons for it to work. It works even if you're a single revolver type of gunslinger. So whether you like one or two, you can choose. This is one of those mods once you try it out, you can't go back. Do you need even more accessories for your Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough? Yeah, me too. There's a mod called Eastern Epic Extras, and this mod is absolutely jam-packed with accessories. You'll have access to new belts, more bandoliers, new satchels, backpacks, and even new hairs and beards. You get over 200 new accessories to choose from, which you can access at any trapper, and this adds a bunch of accessories. So you can get a few hats that Dutch's gang had. You can get all black versions of the hats, or even all brown versions. They even have a few different beanies for you to choose from. You have a couple new shirts to choose from, all with their own unique color scheme. You have a few new vests, including Charles's casual vest and Charles' hunting vest. You also have a few new coats, ranging from dusters to clothes coats, different kind of jackets, and even Micah's leather duster. You have a few new jean choices, another suspender option, 
a furry variant of the gloves, full chaps or half chaps, more spurs, and you actually have some pretty unique boots now too, especially when you go into the miscellaneous category. There's some pretty cool boots in this, such as the all furry ones, or you can even get some pretty snazzy dress shoes. You also have some additional accessories such as the different cloaks you can have. You get a bunch of different neckwear options, 10 additional new belts to choose from, of course a few new weapon belts such as the police duty belt and even John's belt from RDR1. You get a few more bandolier options and you actually get a decent selection of different kinds of satchels too. Some of them are even pouches instead. You have 15 new jewelry options so you can get a whole bunch of different rings, watches, or even get the pimp's drip but probably the most exciting category is the accessories and you have 20 different options here to choose from so if we choose the extra firepower option you'll see that arthur has more guns than he can handle you can pick the pack shawl and the accessories and this will equip arthur with a shawl that covers his head you'll see he now has a backpack and now he even has a canteen you can even go for something simple such as just a canteen, a simple cup on the belt, binoculars, or even the Fusar sword, which will equip a sword on Arthur's side. Eastern's Epics definitely comes with a bunch of different extra accessories for you to have fun with. Are you tired of seeing an old wrinkled Arthur Morgan? Well, you're in luck. With the young clean Arthur mod, you'll now have a younger version of Arthur that's ready to conquer the West. Young clean Arthur is sort of a mod pack that aims to age down Arthur Morgan. It makes him look much more healthy and he'll have considerably less wrinkles on his face. There's even options to clean up some of his default outfits in the game. So for instance, he'll have a cleaner gunslinger coat than you're accustomed to. This mod is even compatible with changing the hair color or eye color of Arthur too. So you'll have even more options to customize your Arthur Morgan. So if you're looking for a playthrough where Arthur actually looks healthy and not about to keel over and die, this may be the mod you're looking for. Alternatively, if you're looking for an older Arthur Morgan, the mod Old Arthur Morgan 1919 is for you. This mod brings Arthur Morgan to the year 1919 with wrinkles galore, gray hair textures for the top of the head and the beards, but still the tough Arthur Morgan you know and love. So whatever Arthur you're trying to play as, young or old, you have the options to choose. If there's one mod you need in Red Dead Redemption 2, then it has to be Rampage Trainer. This is a handy menu system that allows you to basically do anything. So you can go from John to Arthur whenever you want to, you can actually change to any NPC that you've ever seen in the game, which is actually pretty insane. You can be whoever, wherever, and whenever you want. You can even roleplay having Lumbago as uncle. For a few of the NPCs, you can even change the wardrobe on the fly too. But humans aren't the only thing you can be. You can turn yourself into a horse if you want and go live out your wildest horsey dreams. Or maybe horses ain't your jam. You can be any animal you've ever seen in the game as well, including a grizzly bear. You can also do things such as change the time of day. So you can go from nighttime to evening all the way to the morning. You can change the weather with just the press of a button. And you can even have blizzards where there's not supposed to be any blizzards. You can give yourself millions of dollars, give yourself unlimited items, decrease or increase your honor on the fly, get rid of any bounties you have or increase your bounties. You can unveil the entire map, unlock outfits, weapons, recipes, or if you want a few of those achievements unlocked. You can discover all the herbs, fishes, gangs, cigarette cards, and it even gives you the ability to complete all of the challenges, all just by pressing a button. There's even a cool little feature to where you can teleport directly to any of the collectibles. So for instance, if you want to visit any grave location, you pick the grave of your choice and you'll be sent into the heavens and transported directly to that grave location. So when you come to, you'll spawn directly in front of your grave. There's even features to spawn boats or carriages, give yourself infinite ammo. You can even turn your gun supersized and deal some major damage to your enemies. The world is your oyster with Rampage Trainer. Hopefully you found some new cool mods to add into your RDR2 experience. There's a lot more we didn't cover today though. So don't forget to like and subscribe. We have even more mods coming out that I don't want you to miss. We'll see you next time.